Hi everyone. So once again, our subject is spiral dynamics. And this time we're going to talk about Orange. Just a short recap, this is a video series and every video in the series relies on the information from the previous one. So if I'm going to talk about Orange today, I'm going to bring up things from Blue that Orange actually solves. The spiral dynamics is a modality. It's a way to interpret uh, people's awareness and consciousness level and know how to deal with each one and in addition to that it helps us understand more about ourselves where we actually are you know where our ego wants us to strive for what the difficulties are uh, in the modality of where we are right now and how the next color in line solves them now I previously mentioned blue this one is about orange Orange is more about materialism, it's about rationality and I made a whole list of words that we're going to go through and examples that will help your subconscious mind recognize and click when you meet an orange. You also might be an orange yourself still, some of your thoughts are orange-like for me as well. Why? Because between blue, which most of us don't really understand and we kind of like judge blue for being blue, uh, blue is more social, blue might be religious, blue needs a frame of mind, it is not open-minded, uh, blue doesn't like to talk about things that are beyond, blue doesn't want to think beyond, it needs its rules, it needs its, uh, its structure. A lot of the old, um, older people, you know, our, our parents, our grandparents are blue. Now, blue is social, so blue will go to church, and, and blue needs society, it understands that it's a part of society, it needs hierarchies, it needs, it needs structure. Now, when we swindle to orange, something amazing happens. And this will happen a few times because every time we change a color, we spiral up in the modality. Now we're talking about orange, next time it's going to be green, and then it's going to be yellow. And I believe that for the people that are watching my channel, the green and the yellow are the most interesting, but we have to understand where we come from. We cannot spiral up. A blue does not become a yellow. A blue does not become green. They have to go through some motions in their life and solve different circumstances. So from the blue mentality arises the rational mind and it moves into the individual stage. In other words, before that we were a part of a group. We wanted to belong to a religion, to a society, to a country. Uh, we declare to the world that we know best and we have absolute truth. And now with orange, suddenly the blue realizes that there is no absolute truth, that there's something that is beyond and the mind wants to research. And because most of us were wounded from the blue or from the blue way of thinking that was forced upon us by sleeping parents, by school systems, by society itself, now we're becoming individualized. In other words, the orange is about the self. It is about radical self. It is about materialism. It is about success. It is about the definitions of the world that we have today, about 50% of modern society is now influenced by the orange vibration. So you're gonna see that in the news, in the news, in the industry, in, uh, in, any, in the monarchies, in, in, in anything that has to do with money and rationalization and science. We are now pushed towards science. They teach kids in schools everything that has to do with science. You wanna be successful, you have to be science-oriented. Science as well as money. Why? Because orange defines success as the ultimate happiness. And of course, in the end of Orange, Orange realizes that money doesn't really bring happiness. But before that, Orange believes that celebrities are the thing, money and, and success, it really, it, it idealizes uh, material possession. It idealizes the right type of woman, uh, the beautiful woman and beauty and youth. It idealizes success, a brand new car, a huge house and all those things. We know that they don't really bring happiness eventually, not with the right mind, at least not without the right mindset. But this is what orange idealizes. Okay, and it's really important because before you become green, which most of you probably are, you go through a phase of orange. And this is something, by the way, the spiral dynamics works um, on our life. When we are born and raised, we are somewhere in the red, still violent towards others, don't really understand um, how, how relationships work, how other people work, and then we become blue because we have to conform to our parents' rules and, and regulations. In schools as well, there's different rules because the kids need the structure. 
and then we become individualized um, and between our 20s and 30s we strive towards success financial success um, the way that our body looks when we look in the mirror you know achievement progress and then we we get married we have some children and then our heart opens up uh, towards unconditional love and then we become much more green we become more environmental we care less about money even though some of us get stuck on orange and then eventually we become yellow and, and even turkeys some of us of course yeah that means uh, non-dual thinking uh, complete neutrality if one might say uh, compassionate um, system thinkers and stuff like that going back to orange so I made a list of values uh, and again I want to thank uh, Leo from the YouTube channel actualized yeah I really like that Leo this is all because of you I saw your stuff I read the book I researched myself I'm, I'm, I'm green turning yellow myself so this is this is really good stuff for people like me that want to um, surf the consciousness wave of understanding and through that become more self-aware so when we are talking about orange we're talking about rational logical science so Orange has activated his mental capacity. In other words, he's striving away from the group mentality that Blue had into individualism. And individualism, we don't rely on anything else outside of ourself. Rationalizing science, it means if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. So for example, Orange will not subdue into different alternating consciousness, uh, alternating drugs, for example, like LSD or psychedelics or experiencing with mushrooms. That's something that is beyond orange. That's towards the green. Why? Because orange needs to understand that everything is defined for it. For it. So unlike God, which is not defined, everything for orange is, that is beyond their understanding, of course, beyond rational thinking and science, is unexplainable and therefore it doesn't make sense now science today that's why I say most of the world right now is orange why because we're striving towards a mentality of understanding scientific the scientific method the scientific method where we where we measure things uh, where we know things about the different drugs that we take when we analyze the chemistry and the biology of different things and things that we don't understand like the tribes in South America and the way that they behave which is somewhere between you know red and blue uh, but they have higher consciousness and connection to nature, like near-death experiences. Orange will not understand that. Orange will criticize that. Orange does not believe that it's in the box of something that science has actually been able to explain. Orange loves atheism. So because of the trauma from blue, Orange now defines that it doesn't believe in a god. Orange believes in competition over collaboration. So many companies um, have an infrastructure of competition. Let me give you a simple example of an orange way of thinking, which most industries work in today. They're thinking about how I take for myself. So for example, Coca-Cola will have their own advertisement and their whole mentality, and Pepsi will have their own advertisement and their whole mentality. If Coca-Cola and Pepsi will actually collaborate and come have you know, one huge event together, I believe they will have many more customers or new customers that will find that their flavors or the new type of flavors are better for both. And that's the sort of collaboration that Orange doesn't like because Orange believes in, in the self, only in the self. So even inside an organization, you have different departments that fight amongst themselves for the budgets. So that's not a collaborative way of thinking. Orange believes in business. It believes in, a, in, a, in upwards. In other words, in a dual way of success versus failure. Um, improvement, personal improvement, achievement. Uh, Orange believes in winner, winner takes all. Not in a win-win type of thinking, but winner takes all. So there's always a loser, there's always a winner. For example, bankers or people that deal with the stock market are totally orange in that type of way. Orange believes in a career. Orange believes in technology, in analysis, in data analysis, in algorithms, in efficiency, in productivity, uh, in resource manipulation. They don't believe in, in fluffy metaphysical or philosophical discussions about, about life and if God does exist and what is the purpose of all of this. All this is criticized. Uh, Orange believes in never-ending growth in uh, capitalism, in competitive marketplaces. Why? Because we're individualized. Everyone should control their own life. It doesn't make sense to be inside a community. There's nothing that I can gain there. And there's no, no place for me to even give anything because 
all of life is about success. It's about materialism. When an orange, for example, has sex, it's, to, it's just because it has been an, an accumulated time without having sex and it needs to blow some steam off. When orange becomes green, it's more about the connection. It's about making love. So orange just wants to blow some steam off in order to have sex. And you know, because some of your marriages or relationships were like that, that you only get horny once a week because the hormone level group, and it's not about becoming closer to each other. It's not about the spiritual connection between two individuals. It's not even about love. It's an, it's an animal thing, more like an animal thing. Why? Because orange uses mostly their mental capacity. So only one side of the brain that's responsible for complete logic. So only the brain works, that means that the heart and the abstract part, for example, uh, orange can't be an artist b because of that reason. Green can be an artist because they think in abstract and they use their emotions to describe life. So orange will only look at the details and the things that they can actually understand. So there's no using the intuition. An argument with an orange will always end up with orange being more skeptical and explaining the scientific and the, and the logical part to the other side, for example. Orange believes in individuality. Happiness for orange is when they achieved something. And eventually that runs out because you can achieve and achieve and achieve, but eventually you start judging yourself for being failure in other things and you don't find really that the life is about happiness and, you know, and the God or everything around you can uh, be explained in a non-scientific manner. Um, orange is completely against regulations. That comes from the, the trauma of blue. Regulation means government, regulation means God. So orange might be a good neighbor if he's getting something out of it, but he won't be a part of a community because there's nothing to be gained. Orange believes in innovation, uh, best men win mentality. Orange believes in competition, winner takes off. Uh, or the self-help, self-reliance, that's what Orange believed. This is where the self-improvement industry actually came from. So before that, we were dependent on our priest, on our rabbi. We had the different rules from society. But then when a person became individualized and the blue became orange, orange no longer had where to go. So he started viewing all these how-to videos on YouTube. And I'm not saying how-to YouTube on video are, uh, on YouTube are bad in any way. But orange uses them for themselves, for themselves. And eventually they run out of things to improve in themselves and then Orange gets stuck. Why? Because he's done everything right, but he's still judging himself and he's still unhappy. And he has the beauty trophy wife and he has an amazing house and he has an amazing car, but he still doesn't know how to appreciate them. Now, I don't want you to think I am orange or I am green right now because that's a really tier one mentality of what I am and try to define. This is a very large generalization. Many of you are watching how-to videos on YouTube. I'm still researching for quite a lot of things. That doesn't mean that that's the only thing that Orange is actually doing. And many of you believe in technology and in progress and in self-improvement. And I believe in those things as well. It's all about how much and to what degree do we judge other people that are not thinking in the same way that we are? Do we put money and materialism over everything else because we believe that that is going to solve all our problems? You know, when we get um, heartbroken or sad or depressed, do we go shopping, you know, to put a bandage on that? And, and that doesn't really work. And that's the, that's the orange mentality. Orange idealizes celebrities. Why? Because celebrities are the most successful people in the world, right? They're, they're very known, they have money, and, and, and Orange idealizes Facebook and Instagram and taking pictures and selfies and stuff like that. Why? Because we're showing the world who we are and everybody appreciates it, and that's the way that we think that we should deserve self-acceptance and love. That's the way that we think that, you know, the more likes we have on our picture, that's the more successful we become, the more people recognize us. That, that's the orange mentality. Um, orange love brands. Why? Because he likes showing off. He likes beauty and, and young people. And, 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 and you will notice that we become orange about when we're 20, when we finish our teenager years. And then we stop being orange. Some of us still get stuck on that. Some people I know that are 50 and 60 year olds and you can't even talk to them about something that is not about business in any way. They, they begin the conversation with talking about money and success and they think that they should be sad when something is not working out for them. And you want to come, you want to hug them, you want to tell them that they're, they're deserving and then they're, they're loving and they're, they're being loved, but <laughs> they just don't understand it because again, that's the orange mentality. And what we understand here is how to talk to orange. Orange believes that everybody is responsible for themselves, believes in freedom, 
believes in independence, believes in glory, in branding. Orange is against, for example, psychedelics or open-minded or experiencing new things because there's nothing to experience. Everything can be explained. Why do I need to experience something that's completely new for me? What am I going to get out of it, you know? Some examples of orange. So everything that we hear in the news, that's very orange-like. That's why a lot of people that are green, they stop reading news, they stop watching news because it's about being, still being in the monarchy. It's about being in a system. It's about being um, in a place that many people are judged by their success. Um, and they want us to idealize these people. Everything that is in the news is about, you know, exits for startup companies and about the failure of humanity. Orange is really about all of those things as well. Um, children that are raised are arranged orange. Why? Because we are teaching them that they have to get better grades that in order to become successful as individuals they need to have a lot of money or if you're a woman then they teach you to be beautiful and and catch a good man that's going to support you and, and you have your independence and you have your you know your emotional support and stuff like that but that's all bullshit, right we all know a lot of people who are <laughs> filthy rich and they don't know how to use that and i'm not saying that orange doesn't appreciate money is that orange is dependent on money in some way. It's materialistic. It thinks and it needs to understand everything only from a mental capacity. So the heart is not open yet and you can't really think in a more green type of way. And this is where orange gets stuck. And a lot of us were stuck in that phase in our life and I believe some of us still are, right? Orange gets stuck when he finds or she finds that they're just not getting anywhere right now. That they think to themselves, wait, is this all of real life? And they're still in a dual expression. Why? Because they look at blue and they judge blue for being under them. They don't understand it, but they say, ah, oh, I don't need God. God can't explain all of this. This is bullshit. You guys are just going and you're praying and you're wasting your life. Why do that? And when you're looking and when Orange looks at green and, and environmentalistic and, and conscious seekers and trans parties and psychedelics and, uh, and you see them more open and, and, and it judges that as well. And they're very skeptic about green. Why? Because you can't really explain all of that. And can you prove this to me in a scientific type of way, whatever it is that you think? Why are you so happy? What's the reason for your happiness? What, what do you mean there's no reason for your happiness? People, human beings should actually go and take a job. You have to work. You have to get money. You have to strive for something. You, humanity is always in, in progress. We have to advance ourselves. That's the only way to achieve, 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 consume, consume, consume. And that's the only way that we can actually achieve happiness. That's where orange is actually stuck. And this is where we start seeing the seeds of green. Green because, again, we are swindling back from orange that is very individual back into social, where blue was. And the next color is green. And you guys are going to love green. Uh, it's quite amazing. I'm going to try to keep it short. But as you can understand, there's quite a lot of examples for you to understand. Because the whole idea is for you to be able to confront, understand, and not, you know, not no, not fight with orange or with blue or with red, but understand how they see the world and, in other words, get better communication with them instead of trying to change them because green and orange and blue are trying to change everyone to see the world from their own perspective. They don't understand why others are like that and what phases they have to go through. I mean, obviously, you've, you've talked to many blues, so you understand. And you were in orange for a while, maybe you still are. And the next phase for you is, again, green. And green goes back into social. So it's about communities, it's about equality, it's about changing our mindset. It's less about materialism, because we can achieve happiness without that. It's about more love, and, and it's, more, it's a feminine energy, green. There's different countries that are much more green. For example, uh, the Netherlands is mu much more green. And, and it, it, by the way, there's different countries that are blue. Uh, for example, in the Middle East, uh, some Arab countries. Uh, green can be South American countries as well. They're not materialistic. They're about connection with the environment and preserving their way of life and, and stuff like that. So prepare yourself for the next video. If you haven't watched Blue, please watch it. You have to understand the whole flow because eventually what you're going to get out of it is where am I heading next and where have I failed so far? And this is the reason I'm, I'm really, the last couple of weeks I've been applying the spiral dynamics modality into everything in life. And I can see the reactions. I can, I can see relationships 
when one person is green and another person is orange and I can see exactly where they're fighting and why they don't understand each other. And it's quite simple because, of course, it's a generalization. Yeah, Any model is a generalization and there's exceptions. But you can really see how orange thinks like orange and has these values, you know, and where he comes from and what he wants to achieve in life and what green wants to achieve in life. And usually the woman will be green, you know, higher consciousness, higher awareness. And the guy will be orange because that's the way that they teach us uh, men to, to strive for success and, and, and all of that type of stuff. You know, it's, it's a little bit superficial, but men are not as connected to their heart as women are. So, so it's quite amazing. So I will wait. Also, read the book if you can. Watch other Spiral Dynamic uh, videos if you have time for it. I'm trying to really summarize everything. And, you know, usually I do like 10 minute videos and that's it. So this time I'm trying to really give you much more. Unedited, uncut, as it is, with lots of examples. That's the idea. You don't want to just hear it one time. You want to apply this into your day-to-day -day life in order for your subconscious to see these structures with people. And that way the conversation flows. And, you know, my wife always tells me that I can start a conversation on anything with anyone. And I, I, I really believe in that type of equality. And I can see a blue and I won't judge them. And I see an orange and I won't judge them. I will talk to them about business because I'm a businessman myself. That's the part when we'll get to yellow, you will understand that yellow knows how to become any one of those colors when that's needed. Ah, I have a beautiful bird. When that's needed. Not um, manipulate, but become that. And that's a tier two. Tier two don't judge. Tier two are very, very neutral. And we'll get to that because most of us that are stuck in green or in orange want to get to tier two um, because that will bring a lot more tranquility and the type of effort we put into our job is very, very different. The reasons and the goals uh, and our intentions for life become very, very different in tier two. So, something to look forward to. Namaste, my friends. By the way, all my workshops are now opening up again after the trauma that humanity has experienced. So if you want to check out some of my, I would say, life-changing, consciousness-exploring, crazy, weird workshops, go to raymaor.com and join one of my group sessions.